Alrighty guys, so we are going to do a product review today. I just recently got in my Mountain Hardware Mineral King 3 Tent, which I'm super, super excited about, and that's what I'm standing on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a product review and all the different things that this tent comes with. Now right over here, as well as the piece that I'm standing on, which is the physical tent, is everything that this tent comes with. We have stakes inside here, which set down your, uh, your footprint. And then to hold the tent in, looks like there are a total of six stakes in here. Looks like these guys are the poles that set up your tent. Looks like this is going to be the rain fly that goes over your tent. If you decide to go camping and all of a sudden there's a rainstorm, this is going to be that rain fly. One of the cool things that I noticed is that there are these little buckles here, which buckle in into the uh, quarters of the tent. So that's super cool. This won't blow away. It's going to buckle in and stay in place. And then this guy right here is the tarp or the footprint that would go at the bottom of your tent. So that's super exciting as well. That came with the Mineral 3 King. So now what we're gonna do, pull open the poles. All right, there we go, we got them. Oh. Okay, there's one pole. I'm gonna put that aside for right now. It looks like these guys are the main poles, they are as you can see, ooh, stop, stop. Red and gray, that's what's going to make up our DAC press fit poles that will go into the tent. This is my first time setting up the tent. I'm gonna show you how easy. I've done my research on Mountain Hardware tents. There's a reason why I went with Mountain Hardware tents, um, because they seemed super, super easy to set up by uh, just one person, which is what I was interested in. Um, so let's get... These guys, oh, 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 okay. Tip, do not set this up in your living room. All right, we've got some lobster. We've got some spider legs, guys. All right, all my pulled are, okay, here we go. I see what's going on. We've got our poles connected now. And the general shape of the tent, so I'm gonna put this down. Here's our tent, like I said. That's the top. All right. So there is a little small clip that clips right into the very top of the tent. It just slides in and clips in like that. And then I'm assuming we just put these guys in. So fast forward now. Just like that, we have our tent set up. It would honestly took me just a couple of minutes to do. I do have one more pole here though. Let's see here. Let me move this back just a little bit. Oh, it's super lightweight, which I really like. I think this might go, that works. I'll take it. Now, one of the reasons why I got this tent, I have to take you inside to show you. Now this tent is very, very spacious. It has one door on this side, another door over on this side here, which is super nice. The doors are also made out of a nice mesh materials. Uh, so I unzipped the door all the way. Right over here, there is a small pocket that you can stash the door into. So you don't have to mess with getting that wet or getting it dirty, but there's a nice little pocket here that will will hold the door for you. <laughs> Such a gentleman, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, but that leaves it wide open so you can get in or out super easy. You don't have to trip over anything. That all stays right there locked up. There's, under the table is the rain fly as well as the footprint. 
And then there's another pocket on this side that will hold this door open too, which is super convenient. Now, as of right now, on the Mountain Hardware website, this is the only color that is available. This is the gray ice color, comes in one size only, um, for the Mineral King 3 tent. There is a Mineral King 2 tent, which is a two-person tent. Again, I got the three-person tent. This is retailing at about $300. Features, it has the two large doors, provides easy entry and exit, an expansive view with a vestibule rolled back. Fly rolls back and secures halfway for stargazing at night and shade during the day. The poles, I did notice this when I was put, setting them up. They are pre-bend poles to improve interior livable space, hubbed cross poles and symmetric architect for easy pitching, which is super nice once I was able to kind of put the main poles together. I mean, everything just popped up and the tops of the clips just clipped right into the poles, which again is why I got a simple, easy tent for just one person to set up by themselves. There's five pockets. Oh, there's five, po oh, there's a pocket right here behind you. Um, there's a po there's five pockets for ample interior storage, two full-size dry entry vestibules with a vent at the top, lightweight bathtub style floor. That was one of the things that I read that I really liked. It is seam taped for a waterproof construction and the full mesh upper canopy optimizes ventilation and enables unobstructed views. Again, the footprint was included. The materials that this is made out of, it looks like the fabric body, which might be what I'm laying on here, is made out of 75D plain weave polyester 1500 millimeters. The pole type, like I said earlier, was a DAC press fit. The fabric fly is made out of a 680D 210T ripstop polyester. Now, what I like about the ripstop is that the ripstop technology is once you get a hole in something, it won't continue to spread. That hole will stay there and be that tiny little hole until you patch it up. Or I think with Mountain Hardware, you actually get like a lifetime warranty or a one-year warranty. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure you can find it on the website. The fabric canopy is made out of a 40D polyester mesh. The approximate weight packed up is about 7 pounds, 1.2 ounces. The approximate weight minimum is 6 pounds, 1.7 ounces. Uh, it's a three-person tent. There's two number, there's two poles, one that was all kind of connected together, and then that one that kind of went straight across. Two doors, two number, two vestibules. The interior height is 48 inches. The tent floor area is 42.5 square feet. I mean, I'm 5'8 and I'm laying down and I still have about an arm's length in front of me. So it might be about six feet um, length, maybe about, I would say four feet, six, four, four by six feet. In here for just me, just one person, there is a reason why I got a three person tent. Um, it was kind of recommended between all my friends because I would have space to set up like a bed. I would have space to set up kind of like different things inside as well as have places to change. But there is a reason why I specifically got this tent. If you guys look up, you'll see through the tent. Now this is a mesh lining that they have. Um, it's nice because it's very thin. You'll see that will keep all the bugs and mosquitoes and stuff out, but it allows you to look up into the sky. It allows you to look up into the sky if you want to stargaze. I mean, this is a super great tent. I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited to go out and try it out. Um, but this is just a simple product review of me propping the tent up and kind of showing you how to set it all up as far as taking it down, let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty guys, so with that, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm gonna do a quick taking down of the tent and show you how easy it is to take down the tent just by yourself, just with one person. So with that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna start a timer on my phone and I'm gonna stop it once I'm done putting everything back away. All right, so we are going to start now.
messed up. Four minutes, nine seconds is what it took me to put away a three-person tent just by myself. Thank you again so much, Mountain Hardware. This is not a sponsored video. This is a product review of the Mineral 3 King Tent from Mountain Hardware. Thank you again so much for watching this video, guys. If this video really helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my video. I do a bunch of different stuff, and I would love to hear from you. Leave me down in the comments where are some of your favorite places to go camping here in the San Diego area. I can't wait to bring my tent there and go and check it out. Thank you again so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you appreciated it. We'll see you on the next adventure. See ya.